Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I am working as DevOps engineer. In this video, I am going to show you how you can mount S3 bucket. And this time, we are going to use the access keys and secret access key. As far as the mounting of S3 bucket, I have shown you guys how you can mount the S3 bucket and by attaching a role. So, for the ease of use, I have already provided you guys the batch script. So have to simply you know run that particular script in any linux or mac os machine and mounting is going to be done automatically and uh, this time i'm going to show you uh, you can mount uh, your s3 bucket in ubuntu and i'm going to show you the two variant also i'm going to show you uh, in amazon linux and ubuntu as well but that ubuntu is going to be on each two instance so let's start um, what I've done here. Uh, so this is the previous script uh, that uh, S3 mount with role. So what I've done here, I've added, um, <clears throat> I've added the new um, script. Uh, let me show you that as well. So uh, S3 mount with keys. So um, I've already uh, added this uh, in my public, um, repository github repository and i'm going to provide you the link and this is also available in my you know vs code editor so what i'm going to do is to simply first of all show you that uh, uh, we are going to make one bucket and i'm going to make a fresh uh, bucket for you guys so let's navigate to the space section in fact i have the space section available so this is the test bucket I've uh, tested. So cloud geeks dash ca. So I'm going to create new bucket cloud geeks dot ca. And this is going to be totally private bucket. And we are going to mount this bucket in our um, machine, um, in local machine on Ubuntu. And also I'm going to mount this particular bucket uh, in my, uh, in my uh, ec2 machine as well so uh, what i'm going to do is to simply navigate to my script so what you have to do if you guys are using uh, ubuntu you have to provide the access keys and secret access key and the mount location so uh, in the mount point i've added the pwd present working directory and my bucket name is going to be uh, cloudgeeks.ca so I'm going to simply uh, copy this and paste into my machine. In fact, I've already paid this. What I'm going to do is to simply make sure that um, the bucket name is correct. So I've tested with the dash C. I'm going to again mount uh, this bucket and test with C in front of you guys to make sure that everything is working fine. So simply and also I'm going to first of all remove the entries in fs tab if are there so this is the entry and i'm going to uh, simply remove that okay so i'm going to run this particular script s3 mount uh, in my local machine so if everything goes well uh, first of all i need to uh, tell you guys that uh, it also depends your depends on your network speed as well because on ec2 machines the network speed is very very high so the syncing and the transfer of your data from S3 bucket and uh, from, um, uh, you know, the syncing between from EC2 and S3 is going to be really quickly. But, you know, as uh, you know, the local uh, machine has, uh, has low speed as compared to this one. So see, this is mounted. And so we uh, see this S3 uh, image as well. If I do this free of an ST, you will see that 256 TB uh, is available. And if I navigate to the ST section, and let's say uh, I'm going to create one file, asim, let's say cloudgeeks.ca. So uh, first of all, let me show you that this bucket is absolutely blank. And let me simply run this command. As I told you, it depends on your speed. So in fact, for the file, I have to uh, provide this 
function i mean this is the command i added this one so you will see that two files are going to be available uh, in your s3 book if i do ls here these two files are now going to be synced in your s3 bucket and are going to be available so if you do refresh you see uh, three files are available uh, let me create a folder here uh, i'm going to call this cloud uh, geeks okay this is the folder i'm going to create and you see this is the directory or folder and if i navigate to my uh, machine you will see that this folder is going to be available for you so if i navigate to cloud geeks uh, ca and i'm going to create one file this is this is open to local desktop so uh, you will see that uh, this file is going to be available for uh, uh, you know in our uh, directory so if i navigate to this you see this is available as i told you if you have a bucket with too many files the syncing is going to be very slow so uh, similarly i'm going to show you the amazon linux version with the keys as well so what i'm going to do is to simply uh, ssh into this particular machine and i'm going to now close this one and similar script uh, i project so i'm going to first of all uh, ssh into this particular machine okay so let me just you know pause the video and i will uh, put the key here so guys this is the key uh, from which uh, we are going to do uh, the ssh stuff so i'm going to drag it down here and i'm going to call this ec ec2 dash user for amazon uh, uh, linux and i'm going to simply copy the public IP address of this particular machine okay do yes and what I'm going to do uh, is to simply uh, run that particular script which I prodded uh, to you guys so sudo fnib root and I'm going to simply do vim and s3 more call this any name I'm calling this s3 mount shell and I'm going to simply navigate to my doc so one thing I need to tell you that uh, this is for Ubuntu. So I'm going to simply command this apt command. These are not going to work. And I'm going to uncommand these one. If you are using the Amazon Linux, control S save, copy, and I'm going to paste it here. So simply run it chmod plus x make it executable is going to be green. Simply run it. So that is it, uh, your mounting and uh, ETCFS tab entry is going to be done in a few minutes. So let's see what we have. So it is going to install the relevant package and hopefully we will have a bucket uh, available. So disk free have an HD. Okay, C2 V is available and let me navigate to the ETCFS tab etc fs tab and this is the entry you should have and i'm going to press uh quit okay uh, and if i navigate to this s3 uh, you see all the stuff is available and i'm going to call this uh, i am amazon and linux Okay, this is the file uh, which we have created and if I navigate to my uh, S3 section and uh, simply refresh it and this is the bucket. So this is the uh, I am Amazon Linux is available. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is to check whether the mount is persistent after the reboot shut down R and reboot now and it is going to close the connection and we will try to do the same stuff. So uh, I'm not going to, I guess, uh, show you the stuff with regard to the uh, Ubuntu machine as I already show you the same stuff is going to be, you know, in Ubuntu as I done, I, as I showed you the local machine and same is going to be available on the uh, EC2 Ubuntu machine. And uh, I've also uh, shown you that 
what is going to be you know um, as far as the throughput is concerned um, better is used ec2 machine because uh, your mounting is going to be uh, you know really syncing between s3 bucket and your ec2 machine is going to be really quick because of the high throughput and bandwidth available on those is particular ec2 machines so um, it will take a little time um, i'm doing the ssh into this particular machine if i simply refresh it just want to make sure that i'm using the correct rb so 2015 29 okay so let's try to cancel and try again so uh, definitely it will take a little time as the mounting is done till then i'm going to pause the video uh, to make sure so in fact uh, now we are done sudo hyphen i and let's see what we have okay so as far as the mounting uh, of uh, um, s3 bucket this is the s3 bucket uh, which we have is 256 db and that is what we are looking for if i do uh, navigate cd to into s3 so that is fine everything is available uh, this is how you can do the mounting of three bucket in local uh, ec2 machine or amazon linux or uh, same stuff you can do uh, for the mac os uh, thank you guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe my channel and share as much as you can thank you uh, thank you very much and have a nice day